and I turned its output side away from the transformer. So how do you get the power to transfer to go through it? Simple. You need a switch. Oh, here's another question. Okay. Um, why have you not been using fiber cable? Because it requires a diamond. Can you use an industrial diamond? Yes. I wanted to be established before I started using the fiber cables. And if I can avoid it, I'm not going to use them. Like right here, uh -huh. I don't have any power loss with these copper cables because it's only five long. And then you've got another five that goes out to another battery box, and then another two or three that goes up a little bit to another battery box that's right between all the solar panels. So I don't have any energy loss here. And this, I mean, it's only one block. I don't really need to use the fiber cable. I can just use a gold one, put some insulation on it. Good to go. No loss. Sounds fair. So now if I put this switch up top, no power. As soon as you provide a redstone current to a transformer, it'll start to convert up. They will not convert up without a redstone input. They'll convert down automatically, but not up. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's getting kind of dry. You are a loud drinker, aren't you? <coughs> oh, it's because I can chug a... Well, see, how big is this? Uh, 33 ounces, and I just chugged half of it? Holy hell. Yeah, exactly. So if I flip this switch, the MFE is going to instantly begin charging. Now, unfortunately, it can pull power out faster than the bat box can put it in. So it's not a smooth transfer. It's kind of chunky. I could actually hook up four full bat boxes to this um, transformer before it would you basically reach its limit. And that works pretty recursively actually. You can I've done several systems where I've hooked up the a bat box transfer a low voltage transformer and had the power going in the other direction and I had four different uh cablings coming off of four different transformers. And the system automatically cycles between the transformers, providing an even power distribution all the way up to the maximum 128 that can, be, that can come out of the MFE. The system has been seriously upgraded since the last time anybody messed with it. Okay, so there's about 40,000 units of energy in there, and I'm going to cut it off there because I don't want to drain the system to the point where I can't do anything. I'll come back to it later. Uh, the solar panels are more going to be a backup power... S Whoa, you disappeared. Yes, son of a bitch. Scared the shit out of me. You're good at that, you know that? Mm, now I do. Oh dear. Anyway. Knowledge is dangerous. Yes, it is. Very dangerous. Now that I've switched it off, it's very fine-tuned control for how everything works. And I could sw if I were to turn around the MFE, um, it would automatically start dumping the system back, or dumping power back into the system. But there wouldn't be anywhere for it to go, so it wouldn't go anywhere. Anyway, now that we have something that can output 128 volts, and since I'm not doing anything with any of the power right now, I'm just going to start filling up this MFE. Just make, well, i got to remember to watch it, because if this bat box over here empties out completely, my induction furnace will cool off, and that's the last thing I want to have happen. Alrighty then. Next... What shall we do next? We've upgraded to the next tier. Uh, I should probably build some fiber cables. We need fiber cables. We'd always just sort of shocking ourselves for the entertainment value. <laughs> oh no, don't worry. That's happened before. And if you can't figure out where, look on my page. It's the wiring tutorial video. Trust me, I got shocked lots I of times. I watch all your videos. I <laughs> Now, I'm only going to nick three diamonds here, leaving me four industrials. A little bit of redstone, and I'm going to need some glass. I don't think I have any glass hiding around. Do nope, there it is. I came right, to so I could go and be useful for a little while. What you going to do? That would have given me something to do if you didn't have any glass. Oh, hmm. Sorry. You only get six fiber cable for every diamond you use, which is unfortunate. But... Um, although that may be... No, that's right. 
Um, and the glass fiber can handle up to 512. It's actually designed for the high voltage systems. But because of its ridiculously low energy loss, one EU every 20 blocks, it's great for transferring any voltages up to the 200 and or 512. Um, the iron cable, which is the really, really ridiculously fat upgrade to this, is only good if you're going over ev an extreme distance. Because then it's just better to use a, a diamond fiber cable for your short, medium, and fairly long distances, actually. I mean, even at uh, 1 EU every 20 blocks, you could go... See, 100 blocks is 5 EU. 5 EU out of, out of 512? That's nothing. For 100 blocks, you could go 400 blocks, lose 20 EU. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'm ever going to have to go that long of a distance and have to worry about transferring that much power. <laughs> We're talking that. maybe 50 blocks maximum. Mm. So, let's see. Oh, I should probably mention that the contestant winner so far, f well, there haven't been very many people who made suggestions for things that we could build on the server that they might want to come do. The only one that I actually liked, oh, and the underwater city is impractical until in Alblaka comes out with the shield generators again. You really just can't do it. it otherwise, it's going to be a basically a glassed-in dome, and that's kind of lame. So, quit suggesting it, please. I don't know, glass domes are kind of neat. Well, yeah, but it's under, supposed to be underwater. And he's going to be coming out with the shield domes again. I would much rather use the shield domes and do it when they come out before, instead of uh, just making a glass one. It'd be so much cooler. Yeah, I guess you're right. Anyway, the one that I liked the most was a uh, mob grinder that used Tesla coils. Ooh. Yes, I like. That'd be fun. So first things first, I need to check on what it takes to build a Tesla coil, and I'm afraid that Mr. White, you drew the short stick because I believe we're gonna have to go to the Nether and find some glowstone. But I like doing that. Really? You should try doing it with mm -hmm. a jetpack. It's much easier. Wait, now why do you need glowstone? Uh, let's see. What's it take to make a Tesla? Well, so that's why I gotta look I mean, at the Tesla coil. You're talking, um, re refined iron, an electronic circuit, uh, medium voltage transformer, and oh, some redstone. You're right. It doesn't. See, the requirements for a lot of this stuff has kind of been reduced. The higher end stuff takes a lot of stuff, but mm -hmm. it's the glowstone that you can find very difficult to come by. Um, so uh, some of the medium, more medium stuff isn't all that bad. So. It takes 5,000 EU per charge. It's not bad. I mean, it's a lot of power. It's a lot of power. But, um, let's see, that's about half of a charge of a chainsaw, and I could probably kill 10 mobs with a half a charge. So it's not a terrible big loss, and it's completely automated. So, you know what? It sounds good to me. Sure. But before we do that, we're going to need a more robust power system, don't you think? I'd agree. So, what shall we do then? Shall we build a nuclear de um, reactor? Well, I, I mean, I thought eventually we were going to, no matter what. Well, I've we're always liked the idea. We're going to need a lot more power than we've got, and the only, oh, yeah. and we, I'm sure we could build a whole lot more solar panels. Well, Just hang on. Me. You know, how much copper do we have? Oh. Never mind. We don't have enough copper to build a nuclear reactor. We're going to have to go spelunking for some more. Spelunking's or, good. Or maybe I'm just a dingbat and forgot about the four stacks of unground uh, or unmacerated copper ore. That's more than enough here. We're going to need an offsite location for it. This is very true. We better make sure I'm not draining too much power into the... Oop. Stop that. Oh, that's about 153,000 energy in there. Uh-oh. I heard that. That's making an interesting sound. That's the sound it makes when it it's not got enough juice. 
Come on, we need to get to the guest bedrooms and sleep the night over so that the solar panels can keep providing energy. I'm afraid I left it on for too long and have now drained all of the uh, bat boxes. Oh, dear. Oop, wait, hang on. Get out of that one. You're going to oh. need to sleep in the uh, double bed because that one's so too close to the tree and it causes things to spawn. All right, then. As long as you're not in here with me. <laughs> There we go. Quite a restless sleep, really. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. that'll keep that running. You got a question? Oh, I'm just thinking. Last time I saw you build a uh, nuclear reactor of sorts, I noticed how, um, I don't want to offend you, but uh, poorly constructed it was, really. Oh, I it was. There could be a lot. Um, it was very haphazard. Pretty. It was very haphazard. And it showed. Well, see, at the time, I was thinking about, along the lines of, "Oh dear, these don't work. There's probably going to be any number of bugs with it. There's a new build that was released. I really, but I can't keep my current world because it will delete all of my machines and and my stuff and my resources because he had to redo." the ID system, but, um, so it, it was very much a half-hearted effort. Mm-hmm. Because I'm just thinking, if we're going to build a nuclear reactor, we need to go all out on it. I agree. So, first things first. I've got the macerators going. All four of them are now crunching some copper dust. So that'll get us lots and lots of copper, which we're going to need for the, um, for the nuclear reactor, something like 200 and something copper. It's a lot of copper. <laughs> I've also got, uh, let's see, bronze, iron, and tin. Make a bunch of mixed metal ingots, which I can then make into reinforced stone. Oh, and those of you who keep telling me to use obsidian, obsidian is actually weaker than the reinforced stone. So quit it. It's not funny. I've tested it again and again and again. If industrial craft is installed properly, obsidian does not have the same blast strength as reinforced stone. So shut up! I, I was one of those people. Yes, and then I proved it, didn't I? Yes. Mm. The only thing that's truly blast-proof is adminium, and we're not going to be messing around with that stuff anytime soon. Is it even possible? Well, if you've got too many items installed, or you want to, or you have a, the ability to spawn them. Oh, I knew I had some more of these compressed coal balls hiding somewhere. I thought I was a little short. There we go. Two more coal chunks. And I'll stick those in there later. You know what? This is actually a grand opportunity for me to reverse this power system because we need more juice. So you're just going to shovel the energy stored in here back into the, the system? Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, at the current time, the bat box here is not capable of receiving the energy being transmitted by the MFE over here. But that's okay, because it'll just transmit straight to the, the furnaces and the tools and all the everything. But running both of the compressors and all four of the macerators and probably even the induction furnace at the same time will very quickly overwhelm the bat box. So this is actually a massive upgrade to my previous power system. It'll, it'll, it'll help a lot. Me have an idea. Thank you very much, Mr. White. You are of great assistance. See, you are helping. Even if you are just Aww. lurking around in the corners and scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> so, anyway. How about we get out of this room, decide where we're going to um, put the generator. Alright, sounds like a plan. I was and just I can maybe get to work on some mock-ups of what it should be. Alright. I was just throwing the, the mixed metal ingots into the compressors so that we could start getting that reinforced stone coming. Yep. Are you going to want any reinforced glass? I should mention it has exactly the same blast value as the reinforced stone. Sure, why not? 
I think. Can't hurt. Maybe I should double check that. Reinforced stone. Um, is explosion resistant? Reinforced stone can withstand a nuclear s explosion if you build a wall with at least four blocks. It's very important that it's at least four blocks thick or the nuke is going to get through it. Oh lordy. Yeah, and um, I believe with obsidian it's five or six. Alright, let's see what the reinforced glass says. I think it's going to say the same thing. Mm, no, I don't think it is as tough. And there's no rating on its blast resistance, sadly. Mm. Well, we'll just have to find somewhere to build the reactor instead. God damn it, Mr. White. Fuck's sake. Um, there's a nice desert over here. We could use that. Or we could bury it in a mountain okay. somewhere. Or that. Now, I have a question. Hmm. So, a nuclear reactor outputs uh, 2040 ADU, correct? No. Or some exorbitant exorbitant amount. Is it 512? No. 1024? No. Quit asking for a second. Let me explain. The nuclear reactor of this day and age, in Industrial Craft 2, is infinitely more complicated than the nuclear reactor that you're used to. It actually contains within it an area shaped much like a chest. You can fill this area with things such as cooling rods, uranium yes. rods, your various heat dissipation devices and controlling and things of that nature. Um, and you can create reactors that are stable and you can run them 24/7 and they will never overheat on you um, but they're not great they're not all that efficient with their uranium um, you can also run some that are super efficient with the, your, their uranium but you're probably gonna have to monitor it it'll have to be shut off once in a while it to, so that it can cool down or things of that nature loud drinking Thank you. The lo the most productive, stable, safe walk away. It's called a Mark One nuclear reactor that I've seen. Was ninety six EU per tick. Uh -huh, okay. The so the efficiency determines the electrical output. Mm -hmm. The most efficient and massively powerful nuclear reactor was capable of putting out a massive. What was it? 173,000 EU per tick? Unfortunately, it can only be run for 3.75 seconds before it has to be shut down for 6 minutes to cool down. But it generates such a crazy amount of energy that that's still a feasible It is feasible. feasible. And, and the beauty of it, we have red power. Which means we have timing circuits. So we can set up Yay. a timer, three seconds on, six minutes off. We oh, that's genius. Oh yeah, absolutely. It is so much win. Mm -hmm. Seems that like the Endermen get your birch trees over here. Yes, the Endermen have been getting uh, into things. Buggers. Anyway. Where do you think we should build this nuclear reactor at? There's a lot of very good sites. Um, I'm kind of inclined to think maybe we should build build it underground. Uh, if you watch the end... Oh, you know what? I'm going to pause the video for a second here so that Mr. White can take a look at something. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. And before I forget... Um, the dude who suggested the mob grinder hey, fall trap up. with a Tesla coil. Ooh, that's Phobits. It looks like he's going to be joining us after all. Welcome, User welcome. We are recording. Uh, Mr. White has decided to join us on the server. Okay, now as I was saying, the guy who has won the competition for being allowed on to the server for having the best idea is going to be the one who came up with the idea to build a mob grinder fall trap that utilizes Tesla coils to make sure that, that the ones that try to survive at the bottom, well, 
don't. Um, so go ahead and send me your username for Minecraft and I will help you out with that and I just realized Justin I forgot there is another mod that you need uh, give me a minute as soon as I finish with this I'll, I'll send you the stuff um, also the guy who suggested ice water uh, yeah you can send me your uh, Minecraft username too and I'll add you to the whitelist ice water? yeah I've been losing my voice because I've been talking so much during this um, the current introductions and the ice water makes a massive difference and what in soothing my throat so that I can continue speaking oh I I this guy that came up with another idea to be let on the server well no not necessarily but I've said I've checked out his YouTube videos he's you know fairly competent and his idea has served me quite well so I'm have no qualms about allowing him under the server if, but it, if nothing else we can play. Competent enough. Well, we'll see. Anybody who does get onto the server who I don't already know is on a trial period. Anyway, we'll be right back as soon as I've got Phobits up to date.